hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel and i hope we are doing great and staying safe out there all right so what do we have for you today on this channel so a lot of you have requested for a video on how to make a video tutorial whereby the text will be scrolling down the screen just like this one so i have decided to make this tutorial available for each and every one of you and in this tutorial we are going to be using basically two applications and i'll leave the links in the description so that you can go ahead and download them from play store and also use them directly so these applications are Pizzelab and kind master all right so without further ado let's jump into it so the first app to be used is Pizzle app so just go ahead and open your Pizzle app application just like this one that you are seeing right here so once you open it I'll first of all go ahead and change the size of the background or the image size to be that of YouTube thumbnail all right so once I have it over here fitting perfectly like this the next thing to do is to enter the text that I want to use. So I'll tap on letter A and go for the text too. Right after that, right after tapping on the text icon, I'll go for the edit tool, then enter my text that I want to use. So I'll use something like welcome to Serene Arts YouTube channel. All right, so I'll use something like this. Okay, that's awesome. And I'll change the size probably to either 25 or 26. Yeah, 26 is okay for me. And I'll also change the color to red. You can use any color at all that you want, okay? Personally, I choose to use the red. So you can use any color at all that you want to use. And you can also play around with the style of the font. Probably I'll go with bold okay i just want to make the test boot a little bit and right after doing that i'll come to the relative position tool and position the test at the middle of my working area so i'll tap on the middle icon at the top and the one at the bottom here all right so you can see that there are some spaces around the work okay we have a space here we have a space here as well so what you are going to do is to just come back to this icon that make the background transparent okay now when you go to the kind master you know the reason why we have the space left over there okay the space can be small it doesn't mean it should be big like this okay the reason is simple when you send this to this test to kind master there's there's a need for it to hold some place of this test to drag it okay so if you have not leave any space at the edges you cannot drag it and you will not be able to achieve your aim successfully okay so right after doing this let's just go ahead and save this work save it as png okay i'll just go ahead and save this successfully because it's already in png once it is saved the next thing to do is go into our kind master application so i'll see you in kind master all right so you're welcome back to kind master so for us to start i'll use youtube thumbnail size or youtube recommended so that to be 16 by 9 so i'll just tap on the plus icon here and go with 16 by 9 the landscape one so once it is being selected i'll probably select uh, a color for the background probably i'll use white and i'll just increase the length a bit and that's fine so the next thing to do is to bring in the video that we want to put the test on so i'll just select a random video right here from my kind master works okay so with this video i'll just put it like this so let me just play the video so that you see it hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to design a youtube channel in Pizzle app so if you don't have 
all right so that is the tutorial uh i will put the test on all right so what i have to do now is to probably bring in some layer okay i'm bringing in this layer because i literally want the test to be showing because this video is having some parts be in red and stuff and my test is also in red if i bring it onto the work it may not show clearly that's why i want to bring in a white layer so it is not necessarily that you should bring in a white layer always okay it's not necessary that you should bring in the white layer always all right so let me just go ahead and bring in a white layer and i'll increase the size big enough then bring it down to the area where i will be placing my test once i'm okay with that i'll just have to increase the length of this white layer as well perfect now the next thing to do is to go ahead and locate the test that we've saved in kind master in a png format so we go to media and go to puzzle lab and pick up the test so we have it over here like this okay you can increase the size if you want okay we have it we have the test over here like this so what you have to do is to push it all the way here push it back so that only the w will be showing small awesome so you can see that there is a space over here the space out where we'll be tapping and be dragging the test that's the reason why we left the space at the edges in a phase lab okay so after doing that just increase the size of this to the end of your work perfect once you've done that come back and tap on it once you tap on it come to the animation key right here tap on it and you can see that there's a mark being indicated on your work over here so once you've done that just push it all the way to the end okay once you've done that come back and drag this test you've done over here drag it to the end like this awesome once you've done that you can tap on any space area of your work then automatically this thing has been applied so let's play the video and see how it will move hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial you're going to look at how to design a youtube now you can see that the test is moving welcome to serene Arts youtube channel it is moving and it is going like that okay let me continue playing so that you have a look at it YouTube channel in busy lab so if you don't have busy lab the link is in the description you can go ahead and download it as we jump into it straight forward now how about if you want it to be showing consistently like after this one has shown when it vanishes the next one should come like it should be coming afterwards how about if you want to do it like that okay so if you want to do it like that just tap on this make a duplicate of it that is make a copy of it and push it back a bit okay so you see when this one is moving let me just play so that you have a look at this you can go ahead and download it as we jump into it straight forward all right so, so you see this one reach it's almost getting to the end and the next one is showing up that is what i mean okay but the first thing that you have to do is to first of all change the work area of you so basically that is it okay that is how you have to do it once you have done it like that you are good to go in case i increase the size of this or increase the length of the video you will see everything okay you will see everything perfectly all right so let me just play up to this point so that you hi everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial we are going to look at how to design a youtube tunnel in puzzle lab so if you don't have puzzle lab the link is in the description you can go ahead and download it as we jump into it straight forward all right so the first thing that you have to do is to first of all so basically that is it okay so a quick re recap here what you have to do first is to go to your puzzle lab make the test that you want to use on your video design it or just write the test and make it bold or if, if you don't like to make it bold you can leave it like that and make sure you save it as png that is very important save it as png and when you are when you are designing make sure you leave test or make sure you leave a space around your test okay leave a space around your test so that you can grab on that space and move your test 
okay so when you are done with the work in puzzle lab just come to kind master and use the animation key okay the one showing right here make sure you use it and do your magic okay it is as simple as that and if you've done it once and you feel like you want the test to be showing always on a screen just make a duplicate of it reduce the size of the length and make a duplicate place it at a vantage point okay like when the other one is going to end then the next one should show like that okay all right so basically that is it and if you are new to this channel then i highly recommend you subscribe to this youtube channel as more and more educative tutorials are coming your way and i hope you like this video